Our population needs to be educated on the issue of climate change. In order to conserve energy, in order to look for the future, you need awareness, public awareness. You have to communicate the information so people can take personal action in their choices. Human beings seem to have always thought that there's nothing that they could do that will affect the planet as a whole. The effects are only local. Now they have, for the first time, an overwhelming set of evidence that indicates that human activity has impacted on the planet as a whole. Each of us in our activities contributes to the problem by the amount of the greenhouse gases that we emit. What we would refer generally as the carbon footprint. So if you drove here in a car, coming out of the tailpipe will be the, the products of the burning of the fossil fuel. If you had walked, or if, or if you had ridden a bike, your footprint would have been reduced. If you, you know, purchased something to eat, and what you purchased had to be transported here from abroad, then you would have to add how much carbon dioxide was emitted by the plane or the ship that brought that material here as opposed to your choice of buying something that has only local content and which the distance that it traveled would be less. If you wish to, as a philosophy, minimize your carbon footprint, you will think about all of these things in all of your daily choices and try to minimize your footprint. If we don't make investments now, we will make it very difficult or impossible for future generations to deal with the problem and the consequences for them will be far greater. We could consume everything and pollute the earth and then you will die and say that any problem that occurs in the future is only be your problem, you will be dead. Or you could think that you need to make sure that those who come after you have the basis for, you know, a decent life. It's part of, I, I think, being human, that humans, you know, have a moral capacity to think about the well-being of others more than their own. And so one would never think that you would want to have children and make life miserable for them in the future because the world that you bequeath to them is polluted, you know, is declining from climate change and all of the other things that human beings have induced. I think you would be hard pressed to explain what you did when you were alive to try and prevent this from happening. Uh, you know, what did you contribute? Did you sit by and allow this to happen, you know, without making some response? You might not see that a little bit of, of action you take makes a big difference. It looks so puny and insignificant. But if millions or billions of people do make a small response, it adds up to something large. So what can you do at an individual level? comes down to behavior and choice. What you purchase, what you eat, uh, transport, conservation at home, recycling of materials rather than always looking to use new materials. In every sphere of activity, once you internalize the issue, you will see that by your deliberate choice, you can reduce your carbon footprint. The key is awareness. We have a responsibility to educate our populations on the whole issue of global warming and climate change and what measures we can put in place to reduce our carbon footprint. So it's very important to have this educational and public awareness.